you hear the word vacuum, you probably think of this. But today on Inside the Blueprint, we're talking about a different kind of vacuum, specifically vacuum pumps. Watch this. I'm Matt Fremel and I'm the director of Innovative Vacuum Solutions. We service and repair several makes and models of vacuum pumps. We're the only factory authorized service provider for Stokes vacuum pumps. We're also certified to work on Edwards and Leibold vacuum pumps. We've been working on several makes and models of, of vacuum pumps for almost 30 years now. We really have one overriding guiding principle and it's very simple. We want to help our customers be successful. The vacuum pump industry globally is about a $5 billion industry with the expectation that it'll be over $7 billion in 2026. They service various industries in a variety of sectors. We work with several companies in several different industries, including pharmaceutical, vacuum furnace and heat treating, industrial, chemical, scientific and crime labs, thin film deposition process, just to name a few. And sometimes we will actually work directly with the military and aerospace companies, specifically NASA or SpaceX. Their goal is to create a zero or close to zero atmosphere for manufacturing, research, crime labs and more. Specifically for crime labs or scientific and research labs, they need a very clean environment inside the instrument or tool that they're using. This way they can keep any of the impurities from the air from contaminating their test sample. When you look at other industries, say thin film deposition, it's really important to have control of the environment inside the vacuum chamber. Even a very, very small leak of air that's virtually undetectable, can damage the test sample in processes where there's vacuum furnace or vacuum heat treating or thin film deposition. It will actually damage the product or it can compromise the integrity of the product or the material that they're trying to heat treat. Many of the things that we use every day, we're literally touching or looking at something every hour of every day that wouldn't be possible without the science of vacuum. So your cell phone, your computer, televisions today are very small and thin. Even components in your car, every time you get into an airplane, many of the components, the parts in that airplane are all manufactured, or most of them I should say, are manufactured in a vacuum chamber at some point in their, their span or their lifetime. Imagine cars today, for example. They're much lighter than they were years ago. We also have better fuel efficiency yet the cars are more powerful. This is all because of the microchips and the semiconductors that are inside of these cars. Those are all made in a vacuum chamber. They say now a car, just one single vehicle, will have approximately 2,000 microchips inside of one vehicle. Those are all manufactured in a vacuum chamber. They have a strict quality and testing program for each vacuum pump they repair, over 1,600 per year. Each and every vacuum pump is tested for 24 hours and we put it through a stress testing procedure. And if it doesn't meet the specifications that we have, and part of that is it must meet the factory specification. If it doesn't do that, we pull it offline, we analyze why it's not meeting the test data or the specification that's required. We, we fix that and put it back in line for testing. IVS also does reconditioning of vacuum pumps, and we, we sell refurbished or reconditioned vacuum pumps to customers as opposed to just repairing pumps. Our motto is first in mind, first in choice. We have several engineers and vacuum process specialists at our disposal, and we all share one goal, and that is we want to help our customers be successful. For more information about how innovative vacuum solutions can help your company, visit their website, ivsonline.com. And of course, visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com.